So, just like me, you would like to play gaming consoles inside your van and power other 12 volt devices without making your van look like a solar farm. Well, I'm going to show you an inverter that runs off your 12 volt cigarette lighter, runs directly off your car battery, and it's absolutely game changing for me at work. But I wouldn't go above 120 watts because your cigarette lighter will not go above that energy without popping fuses. So even though it's advertised at 300 watts and I've seen people saying why not buy a more powerful one, you don't need it because if it's going into a cigarette lighter, you're only going to want to be risking 120 watts anyway. So you're not going to be getting hair dryers, microwaves, things like that. I wouldn't risk things like that. This video is purely to show you about gaming and how, what you can run off your car battery which runs off the alternator. You also don't want to be breaking down like this fellow here who has broken down. Now in my van, I travel around for work quite a lot and I wanted the power to run a television and a PS4. So what I went and bought off Amazon for £50 was this. It's just got one plug socket and two USBs, which is all I need. It plugs directly into my cigarette lighter and turns it into a standard plug, which you can use on just about anything. Now, as I said before, your plug doesn't really want to be going above 120 watts. I wouldn't risk it because you'll start popping fuses. I'd also say a lot of that have been advertised are modified sine waves. I wouldn't use a modified sine wave. I'd go for pure, because the pure sine wave is going to be constant. The modified will be going up and down, and you might end up blowing things. A pure sine wave inverter gives you pure energy, which is similar to what you get in your household. So that's what you want if you're wanting to run a TV and a PS4 kind of console or any other console. Even a laptop, I'd want it on a pure sign because you don't want a surge in power and it breaking your expensive laptop. So this is the one for me. Look out for the ones that say pure sine wave. The one in my description, you don't have to buy. It's just the one I use to play Farming Simulator, among other games in my van. But there are plenty of others on the market. You can see mine in the description, and I'll also put it in the comments. I'd also love to hear from you guys. But which console to choose? This is another big aspect for me. PS4 Slim. Simply because, same as the Xbox One S, I'm not 100% sure they'd work on this, but the Xbox One S and the PS4 Slim use a lot less power than the originals and the Pros. If you go for a PS4 Pro, PS5, you're going to be using a lot of power. As shown here, the PS4 Slim loses, uses a lot less power. Almost half what a PS4 Pro would use. So not only do you get prolonged life on your battery because I want to run mine when the power's off. You can run them on leisure batteries, obviously, that are hooked up, that might run on solar, but I didn't want to. I wanted to run my TV and PS4 when I'm parked up on a 12-volt outlet with the engine off. So for me, it had to be the PS4 Slim. It uses around, I'd say, 70 watts of power while it's playing a game. It does say it maxes at 110, but it uses, on average, about 70 now the TV I use, you can get a low powered telly from anywhere, but I like to use the portable monitors. The best thing about these portable monitors, they plug straight in with the HDMI and use their own power straight into your PS4. I plug that straight in and it works. You can also run them off these USB-C battery banks. That will power your TV as well. So that saves even more power, because let's be honest, you want as much power as possible. Now I've played with that setup in my van, PS4, plus the TV, for over two hours, nearly three hours, and it's run fine. I wouldn't get a more expensive one. The reason I said the video, don't make the mistake, is the other ones that are a 1,000 watts, you just don't need it, because the plug socket will not run that amount of power anyway. You don't want to be going over 120 I'm going to chill out now, play a bit of game, watch this new Fort Solace, 
strange. In that light, hear from you, so drop me a message. Let me know if you've got one of these and whether it's a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Thanks for watching. Oxygen reserves are still active. Well, the backup generator maintains oxygen levels. Did you think they just powered the light? Uh, well, not anymore.